welcome to the first match between familiar faces from Hasu League. We have Ash Dreamer, bottom left hand corner, runner up from Hasu League season, the previous season. Upper right hand corner, we have Crane as the blue Protoss. We did a highlight match with Crane involved, although he ended up losing that match. But a really up and coming Protoss player. I think he's been in Rogue's Gallery here and there. Also, check out Ash Dreamer's stream. I've been streaming actually, I think, a decent amount lately. I believe it is just dreamer underscore on Twitch, and I will try And if not, it probably doesn't take a lot of hunting to figure out uh, precisely what the name is. This is on Blue Storm, and again, I'm waiting to see a two gate on this map because I, if I recall, yeah, it was like a lot of two gate in its era, and Zealots just just feel so strong that they could just be so strong in this map. Maybe I'm off on that. These guys, both these players, far better than I am, but I just want to see it. I want to see it. Uh, again, rapid game, rapid series of games. I'm almost wondering if the map selection was because of there's so much, so many Protoss players. We're actually just looking at kind of the overall composition. A lot of people are commenting there's like a lot of PvP, a lot of PvT, but not a lot of Zerg matchups. And it's because uh, in ho both, really in all the leagues, Protoss are a bit overrepresented, except at the very, very top, uh, where Zerg seem to have the advantage. But for Hasu League, there's twice as, there's basically, there's, now we're seeing the two gate from, okay, sweet. We'll see how this plays out uh, for Dreamer. Crane going to go ahead and gateway uh, Vespine Gas Assimilator after this, I assume. Although maybe not. This might be 2-gate versus 2-gate. But a little bit later gate here for Crane. And a little bit better of economy. Yeah, okay. So 2-gate versus 2-gate. But on an earlier probe count here for Dreamer, which actually will work towards Crane's advantage. Moving in with that probe. Seeing the 2-gate. First sell it being produced. And actually, sneaking out that additional probe for Crane could be all the difference in the world. We'll see. The Zealots are going to get a little bit... Basically, the, the initial Zealots will get out faster for Dreamer, but there's kind of a stronger baseline economy for Crane. This gateway coming up, you can see significantly later. Uh, but there is a lot of map to traverse. However, initial two Zealot count for Dreamer, the initial Zealot making his way across the map. Second Zealot's going to be following in not too long. We do have both gateways up here for Dreamer, and it looks like rather than Crane trying to deal with, trying to get, honestly, I feel like that first Zealot should immediately go down to this gap to do a potential Zealot on Zealot fight and kind of delay things. Two additional Zealots being produced. So it's going to be just pure two gate, two gate, and we'll see how this works out. It's going to come down a lot to Zealot micro. If Crane can hold on, he does have a significant probe count lead at this stage because of his uh, general options. Probe moving out, Crane following that probe, I'm wondering if this is a bit of Miss Micro. That Zealot trying to make its way across. This is now two Zealots towards the front, comparatively. Three Zealots near Ash Dreamer's one. Again, running for that gap. <clears throat> and now, now comes the, <laughs> the adjustment game. So three Zealots blocking that gap. Proxy Pylon here for Dreamer. I think realizing that there was an opt, so a slight economic disadvantage. And we'll see what this turns into. Is this going to be a third gateway for Dreamer? At proxy location, that would be nuts. And just zealots, or are we going to see some sort of robotech, or even maybe some DT tech, or something along those lines? Additional zealots being produced for Crane on the front. It is possible to get kind of the nice, yeah, zealot blockade across that ramp, and we are seeing a third gateway for Dreamer on the front as the zealots kind of group up. And this is going to be Dreamer more or less trying to smash this front door, Cybernetic score warping in. For Crane, if Crane can get some, enough of a Dragoon count out, still might be able to repel this, but it's going to be it's going to be tough because this is that's not just a gateway, that's a proxy gateway. Now engaging, one Zealot boxed out of that fight, having to wander all the way to self. Another one having to wander all the way to self for Crane. So Dreamer getting the better of these initial engagements. We can see that with the fir initial first two Zealots down, there is a closer reinforcement engagement. Now it's four Zealots versus four plus that probe, and that probe going to be the difference in the world. Nice micromanagement. So that probe gets taken out, but it's still three Zealots. Three of them very low on health. They're going to retreat to go ahead and recharge shield versus three. Otherwise, that's going to force a shield battery from Crane. Probe actually wandering out there uh, to the upper left-hand portion of the map. And that's additional. So it's just pure zealots here from Dreamer. Waiting for that initial Dragoon to be produced from Crane because that's going to be a big shift point. First Dragoon now being produced. Two Dragoons on the front. But there are six zealots engaging. Crane pulling off. Five probes to engage and push these zealots back to make sure this dragoon. If these two dragoons get out, that could be the that could be it. 
That could be it for Dreamer. Dreamer pushing in with all sorts of Zealots. But keep in mind, this is still 3-gate versus 2-gate production. And thus far, Dreamer has had the better micromanagement. Still pounding away at that gate. And still might be able to catch that Dragoon right as it's spawning. The Zealots moving up right on that spawn point. One of them taken out. The Dragoon microing its way out. But a lot of them have been taken out. Backing off to that shield battery. The probe's still engaging. And this, I think, might just be overwhelming Zealots for Dreamer. Getting on top of those Dragoons. Not a lot of area to micro out of this. And this is, yeah, just too many Zealots. So I think this is going to be GG from Crane. GG overall, because, yeah, 3-gate three, three production versus 2-gate. Even with the, yeah, it would have taken some miracle, miracle Micro for Crane to make the way out of it. So game one going to Dreamer. With And this is, yeah, again, I, I almost wonder how much the map selection was down to... Uh, resulted in... Uh, what, what, I wonder if they're thinking, you know, we got a lot of Protoss, so maybe to speed things up in the PvP space, let's go ahead and do maps that allow that force this sort of action. Anyway, move on to game two between Dreamer and Crane.